there's always a sliver. No matter how good of a player you are, there's always that one little inkling of doubt. And Prash's entire game plan is going to be trying to expand that outward mm -hmm. and make it actually impact your gameplay. You know how they say S Fat can beat anyone and lose to anyone? Prash is like the inverse, where it's like you can always <laughs> lose to Prash, no matter who Absolutely. you are. Absolutely. But uh, Prash is. So, Snake off stage. Prash off to a good start here. Oh, and this is Oh, like, he, he had the catch, but he didn't. The quintessential Prash uh, <laughs> chump check, as you might call it. Mm -hmm. Oh, tries to get something funky going with the down smash there. Yeah. That, oh, the first That's shield break. That's a shield break. C4 is on the ground, but the Warlock Punch comes out. Crash mm. gets the first stock. Yeah, that was great. Um, Crash will just test you. He'll execution test you over and over again. Because he knows, um, guys, this is again, I mean. He knows that he's not really going to put you in the blender, neutral-wise. So he's just looking for those small micro habits that everybody kind of has when they're afraid. Yeah, Virgo right now building the house. This is just <laughs> no entry for Crash. Mm -hmm. And that wizard's play, uh, Ganon down B, is going to be really important in this matchup. Ganon doesn't really have any burst to contend with Snake once he sets up his, his projectiles. Mm -hmm. He nares through the up smash, but still gets hit by it. Oh, I saw the roll come out there to try and avoid that. He realized he was right on top of it, but just a little bit too late. Catches the jump there, but... Virgo gets the ledge. Mm. Good knowledge check there. Virgo knows that's not going to hit me. I'm a snake. I lay ledge low. That was an interesting approaching fair we saw at center stage. I didn't know Snake could really do that, but <laughs> when you're fighting Ganon, even Snake has good approaching aerials. Tries to catch the roll. Virgo, good timing there. And good Nikita wrap around. Ganon's going to have to find a way to deal with this. Ooh, punches it. He's back in there. And Great. he's got the roll read. Crash is up. So this is Prash's win con, right? Where he's made you feel like you're kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Virgo, you know, CR is kind of the land of the Ganons. There's been a, quite a few talented Ganons in Capital Region for a, a long time, so, since as long as I've been playing. Virgo's just dribbling these grenades right now. Big combo coming out here. Mm. That snake down tilt too, it's really it's a phenomenal poking tool in this matchup. Just outranges all of Ganon's normals. I love that up smash from Prash, just saying, I'll take this damage. I know I live longer than you. Mm, it's like my sword is bigger than everything I see on screen right now, which means I get to swing. This is so interesting, seeing a um, snake platform camp again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good wait there. Big grab, Prash is out of there, though. Ooh, mm. that dash attack was scary. Yeah, so closing here is Ganon. Could be tricky. Ganon doesn't really have any kill confirms on deck. He's just going to rely on straight hits. Ooh. <laughs> Big Nair lasted like a year there. I'm sorry for peeking my mic. Yeah, I had no idea who was dying there, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Prash gets game one. He is on his way. Prash has that thousand yard stare right now. <laughs> I don't know how this <laughs> this man's thought process. <laughs> yeah, and like, he's, like I said earlier, he was just, he knew his win cons and he executed in like the three spots he really needed to. And he got rewarded with three stocks. So let's see if the adjustment is going to be from Virgo. I'm surprised the stage was left open and gone on game one. Snake is traditionally very good on the stadium. You want to talk about knowledge checks? That might be something Prash isn't fully aware of. Yeah, good little cute uh, C4 drop there. Maybe Virgo's figured something out here. I see a lot of confidence. Normally, Prash, when you lose a game like that to him, you really, really rethink your game plan. But it seems like Virgo has just tried trusting, trusting his intuition here. He read his tag, he was like, oh yeah, I can think. <laughs> Big C4 kill, only 13% here on Virgo. Full turnaround from what we saw game one. Right, and that, that C4 height on this stage is so, so good for Snake. Oh my god, huge Especially damage. Especially how tall Ganon is. Yeah. It's got a hit below platform, yep. Mm -hmm. I think Virgo might have caught on that Prash does like to swing a lot, especially in mid-range. Oh, he's just following him with this Nikita right now. Oh, good box there. I don't know how he, I don't know if that was a read, but he like read the air dodge somehow. And there's the down smash. Prash down, but not out. Mm -hmm. And Prash is losing neutral like maybe 75% of the time, but he's hitting, he's winning in the spots where he actually generates a kill for him, which is what Ganon really wants to do in this matchup. Although Virgo, once again, got this house built. Prash just trying to figure out how he can kick down the door. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Grenade saving him. I think that might have been either just a percent shy or actually true end up till. Do you think Nikita's a better character than Ganon? 
<laughs> Nikita's, Nikita's a move that might be better than some characters, and I think Ganon might be one of them. <laughs> I don't know about Nikita, but I think Up Tilt is. Snake Up Tilt. Oh, okay, yeah, I can see that. Oh, missed the conversion, though, because he had a grenade in hand. Caught mm -hmm. it with dash attack. Yeah, that late dash attack comes into a lot. I saw, like, a Twitter video from MGK where he's just, like, comboing all of Ganon's kit out of late dash attack. Mm -hmm. Cypher gonna... Ooh, ooh, unfortunate. Might have been a buffer from something, the Cypher hitting him there. Or the world's biggest jump read coming out there from Crash. Uh, you know, <laughs> I've seen Crash jump reads, and it's always up on the C-Stick. <laughs> That man thinks you're jumping. There's only one course of action. 1-1 one, one here. I'm interested to see where Prash goes. I don't think I saw it in time. I just hope it's not PS2. Yeah, Virgo just kind of <laughs> recognizing that, like, he doesn't really have to respect Ganon in mid-range and doesn't, also doesn't have to box with him whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Prash, though, going back here, he's he's got something in his mind, so he's going to let it rip. Yeah, Prash really hunting for those spot dodge timings. You just saw him do three mix-ups in a row that were all relying on a certain spot dodge timing and result in big damage for him. Mm -hmm. And that big damage only building here. Mm. He's, I think he's swinging too vertically, vertically a little bit much. Because that was what um, lost him game two, was those uh, rising swings aggressively. And that's exactly what Virgo's looking for here. Snake back air is a war crime. <laughs> <laughs> Move is active for like, I don't even know how many frames. 28, I think it was. 28, yeah, no sour spot. Yo, Crash goes for the upbeat. <laughs> just drops the C4 on him. Yeah, getting a little desperate here in disadvantage. I think uh, Crash just needs to reset. Oh, good call out. He gets the side beat, but he almost dies for it. Virgo. That's so All unfortunate. Right. <laughs> I was, that Maybe was... Nikita is the better character. <laughs> Oh, the roll in too. A lot of these roll ins here from Crash getting called out. No jump here though on Virgo. Crash just lets him come to ledge. What's his read? Mm -hmm. He did that jump again there too and got hit by Cypher for it. I've been seeing everyone get hit by Cypher today. It's, yeah, it's tough to avoid. It just likes to go where characters like to be in their ledge trap interactions. Oh, C4's on him. He's sticky. You know, he's looking for the grab. Oh, it's on Snake! Oh, yeah. I have no idea who it's on. Probably left Snake. The risk reward there was so good for Crash. That was actually like quite a smart up, up smash. Mm -hmm. Rolls past that damage, but he's still got the grenades on him. Mm -hmm. Late back air, not going to close it out, but this Nikita might be curtains. Yeah, I saw the rising up air come out there, but just a little bit late. Virgo's got some hitters in the crowd. I'm, I'm hearing this crowd <laughs> get alive right now. Oh, that was nearly a spicy combo coming out there from Virgo. I'm amazed I haven't seen like a single just run off there yeah. come out from Crash. Hey, look at Virgo. He's just disengaging. As soon as he returns to center, he's out of there, man. Mm. And he's happy to take these grenade trades because that percent is only rising on Crash. Yeah, and all he needs, this is his win con, right? He doesn't need to actually kill you. He just needs Ganon off stage. And that is just yeah, curtains gonna be there. It. Virgo closes it out. Crash made him sweat game one. We saw a little, a little head bob come out from him. Well, Virgo's moving on. Prash is one of those.